Welcome to the next episode of Weespare Breakroom Chats. I'm Shobhan Bhutani, Product Marketing Manager at VMware, and I'm VMware's Gen AI and uh, DPU lead. I do messaging uh, for AML, uh, Vsphere, and DPUs. Uh, in this series, like we've been going now for eighteen months or so, like lots of lots of lots of uh, like followers at this point. We bring VMware partner experts uh, and you know wonderful uh, team, you know other other teams as well to discuss Vsphere, AIML, and cloud products. So with that, today I'm very excited about uh, talking to Judy Lee from NVIDIA. Um, Judy is the principal product marketing uh, manager for NVIDIA. She's my counterpart in NVIDIA. We work very, very close together. Almost feels like we're on the same team sometimes. Uh, and we're going to discuss VMware Private AI Foundation with NVIDIA, which we recently and now just um, uh, just gen became generally available. Uh, welcome, Judy. Hey, Shobit. It's great to see you, and it's great to have some tea with you. Yeah, <laughs> same here. But like you, I'm, I'm a coffee guy, right? It's... Uh, Probably yeah, there's another two cups of coffee like right there actually. So <laughs> <laughs> always pumped in a lot of caffeine. Which see which is the requirement on what we're working on, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> a lot of long days, a lot of long nights. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, and Julie and I work together really very, very closely. It, you know, Saturday nights, Sunday nights, where it feels like we're almost like exchanging emails and messages all the time. Uh so really wonderful to kind of talk to you, Judy, on this one. Let's jump in. Um you know, NVIDIA being obviously the leader here from AIML, um, and you know, VMware and NVIDIA have together kind of joined up, you know, made this whole fantastic partnership uh, to solve a lot of challenges that we hear from enterprises for uh, infrastructure and LLM complexity while they're spinning up their Gen AI models. So let's jump in here for a second. Um, enterprises are super excited about Gen AI. Um, you know, there's service that I read everywhere have trillions of dollars of revenue when you know economic potential etc that we see in, you know depending on which analyst you're looking at you know those numbers and usually vary in the trillions right so the potential of Gen AI is phenomenal the productivity benefits that enterprises see out of Gen AI are also uh, very immense but they feel there's a lot of things that they're concerned about for Gen AI privacy is the very big one right I mean if you think about what Gen AI and AI does it takes in data, trains it, right? And then to improve the answer for the next time. I mean, that's the definition of what AI is all about. Right. So there's all of these enterprise privacy issues that enterprises are concerned about because if you put your data inside a uh, closed model, in an open model, then there's concerns about that data being used for training. Other than that, choice is a big one. It's a bleeding edge space, right? There's so much churn at this point. Um, there's so many different developments all the time. You see vendors, et cetera, come in all the time. Most importantly, large language models keep changing, right? You know, Llama 2 was the biggest one literally 90 days back. Now we're on to Llama 3, right? Mm -hmm. So customers want to get, make sure that they have choice of LLMs. Cost is a very big one. Whatever's bleeding edge is developing space uh, is going to be costly sometimes and can be, uh, mm -hmm. you know, costly to argue back. Um, you know, there's SaaS components, there is like your know, infrastructure complements, et cetera, um, there, that, that we see in this space as well. So it's a costly space. But Judy, uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on this, right? Like, what do you think from an NVIDIA perspective you guys are seeing? Yeah, and I think one of the things that most folks may not initially, initially consider when I'm thinking about cost is, you know, what it takes to go into production. There's a lot of cost in building and developing uh, your Gen AI application. And then there's also a lot of cost just moving to production. And and I believe at a recent IDC survey, it was saying maybe like 80% of companies take over a month to go from, to even transition from development to production. And that's a lot of time wasted and, and time is money. So having like a solution that kind of streamlines all of that and gives enterprises the comfort confidence to go from development to production grade grade quite easily is it just is like a burden off their shoulder in terms of um the work and the cost. Absolutely. You know, time is money, like you said, right? Very well 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 put. Performance is a big one, always. Um, and then, you know, because AI sucks in a lot of, lot of infrastructure, right? Uh, right. And you go to, um, 
you know, allocation balancing of hardware is needed, um, you know, software uh, balancing, balancing is needed. There's just a lot of stuff there. Julie, anything to add you want to add to that piece? Right. And I also want to mention, you had mentioned earlier about LLMs, how they're constantly changing. And one of the ways that they're changing is they're getting bigger and bigger. They're constantly growing. So enterprises will also need to make sure that they have the allocation, GPU allocation to, to do, you know, whatever work that is needed as they're going from development to production. And part of that is have, making sure you have the right tools, hardware and software tools to optimize every single step of the um the AI life cycle. And I think that's one of the beauty of the work that we're doing together that we'll get into later. Absolutely. Uh, and finally, compliance, right? Whenever you have organizations in different industries, countries, et cetera, uh, there's always compliance concerns that pop up, right? Where's the data uh, place, right? Where's the Gen AI model place? Where's workload placements, audit readiness? There's a lot of things there that customers are concerned about. Um, and this is why we're so excited about this partnership. We made this announcement last year at uh, Explore Vegas, right, for VMware Private AI Foundation within India. And initial availability announcement just literally a month, you know, a month, month and a half back at NVIDIA GTC. Right. So, so much wide, wide, uh, uh, you know, such rave reviews on that one. Really excited about uh, this general availability announcement. Right. Yeah, we are too. And then... Uh, so one thing I also want to mention in terms of the challenges, one of the reasons why these challenges we're seeing across industries, across enterprises, is just the need for like domain specific, like Gen AI applica applications. So as enterprises are relying on their domain specific data, the privacy is just so much more important, and it's going to become you know even more important as as uh, Gen AI Gen AI Gen AI becomes more pre prevalent. Absolutely. Let me just share what the platform looks like, and uh, Julie would love to hear, uh, you know, your perspective on what you know how excited you are about this and the different things that's going on here. Yes, definitely. Like we are at Nvidia, we're really excited about this partnership uh -huh. and what uh, Broadcom and Nvidia have announced is the, the VMware Private AI Foundation with Nvidia, and it's really just to streamline the development and deployment of Gen AI applications and enable enable um, enterprises to, you know, see what, what Gen AI can do for them. It'll just help them increase productivity, like see time to value faster for their own business insights. And, and Gen AI is, is becoming more and more prevalent. And on the basis of this, we have VMware Cloud Foundation, which is, of course, the leading full stack private cloud infrastructure solution, and NVIDIA AI Enterprise, which is NVIDIA's end-to-end -end cloud native software platform. And this is the basis of VMware Private AI Foundation with NVIDIA. And this platform just enables enterprises to run private and secure Gen AI models in their data centers and, and allows enterprises to you know, run RAG workflows, fine tune, customize LM models, and then also like run and scale inferencing workloads in their data centers. So for the NVIDIA side, again, it's the NVIDIA AI Enterprise Software Platform, which accelerates every single uh, part of the data science ML uh, lifecycle. Wonderful. And the bedrock from an infrastructure standpoint is VMware Cloud Foundation, which gives the highly scalable and phenomenal infrastructure. So really exciting platform here. Let's jump into the details here for a second. Uh, Julie, can you explain like those few capabilities that the, the wonderful capabilities that you've highlighted in NVIDIA Enterprise has tons of new, you know, cool, cool stuff inside of it? But do you want to just kind of explain a few of those uh, top four that we're sharing at the top? Yes, definitely. I'm just going through um, a lot of this was announced. Um, our, our recent GTC conference in March. And that's why we're so excited that um, this solution includes our like our latest and greatest software. So leading that is NVIDIA NIM. And this is a set of easy to use microservices just designed to speed up Gen, Gen AI deployment in the enterprises. So it supports, you know, pretty much most uh, AI models, including NVIDIA AI foundation models and custom models, and it really ensures seamless and scalable AI inferencing. So whether you're deployed on premises or on the cloud. And we also have NVIDIA Nemo Retriever. So that is also a set of 
a, a collection of generative AI microservices, and it really enables organizations to seamlessly connect their custom models to domain-specific data, and, and then as a result, just deliver highly accurate responses. And then uh, the latest um, NVIDIA RAG LLM operator, which simplifies production of RAG applications. And all of this is included with NVIDIA AI Enterprise. Like NVIDIA AI Enterprise just is an extensive library of um, AI tools and frameworks, workflows. And then uh, part of, and a big part of it is our NEMO framework, which includes NIM, NEMO Retriever, and the RAG LLM operator. Fantastic. Um, and on the VMware side, right, I think we've presented in the past deep learning VM vector databases, right? Those are an integral part of getting a RAG workflow established. Uh, and now guess what? Now it's generally available. Um, and the cool things that we're introducing, we've introduced new as part of the, you know, that we haven't talked a lot about, right, is the catalog set of wizard. So for complex objects and, you know, for, uh, like AI projects which have NDC catalog, which have you know a lot of VMs and a lot of like you know containers, microservices, etc. Catalog setup wizard gives this very cool functionality, almost like a marketplace kind of functionality, where you know admins can spin up these catalog items, right? Put put them available, make them available for like the VI admins, etc. To very quickly pick it up and now start deploying versus you know creating uh, stuff from scratch. So infrastructure admins are the first people who kind of put these together and then it becomes very easily you know, deployable stuff or easily configurable stuff for the VI admin. So it's some a really cool functionality on the automation side. Um, and you'll see us add more and more cool things from the automation story to this platform story as we move forward. GPU monitoring wise, we, had, uh, we are adding GPU monitoring. Uh, GPU temperature monitoring, we already had uh, compute and memory, et cetera, already as part of this platform at what we announced in initial availability, but we're adding <clears throat> a bunch of new capabilities in GPU monitoring, like the so GPU temperature, like I just mentioned. There's also GPU specific dashboards. Like, so if somebody has a, a v large VM estate with a lot of GPU clusters, et cetera, established, then at that point, you know, the GPU monitoring capabilities the GPU dashboard gives you the overview very quickly so you can easily understand what's going on in different clusters. If there's some hot points, if there's a high temperature addition or and a GPU is getting overused, overused or underused, right? Those Each of those things can be now be very easily managed. So really cool functionality. There's also power CLI scripts that we're uh, publishing, which will really help with deployment really faster, basically from an infrastructure perspective. So there's a lot of cool stuff that we're announcing as part of this. Uh, now, uh, going back to the last couple, last question here. What's new about this GA versus, you know, the general availability versus initial availability? Like I mentioned, we were adding the GPU monitoring, GPU dashboards, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the ability to have the power CLI uh, scripts, et cetera. And in future episodes, I'm going to bring in, you know, Justin Murray and other technical experts from our team to actually talk more about these, but I'm saying from the NVIDIA side as well, we'll bring in Joe Cullen as well, based on his availability, to talk about some, a little bit more details there as well, and Judy and other people. So G Judy, now I'm just kind of ending this. Mm -hmm. uh, any like important CTAs you want to call out, where, you know, call to action or places you want people to go uh, to for, uh, you know, getting more information? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. So at first we have uh, a blog that Shoba put together and it'll go into more details. Like this is you know, a really high level chat and um, for more details about the solution, what it can do for you, we also have a blog that covers general availability and what that means. And that also includes um, a, some information for uh, the NVIDIA software because with general av availability, um, a separate NVIDIA AI enterprise license is required. And then also on um, the VMware side, the VMware Private AI Foundation for our NVIDIA uh, website that includes a lot of collateral that we put together, including solution brief, white papers that will give you more information on um, what the solution can do for you. And then on the NVIDIA side, if you want to get started to see what NVIDIA AI Enterprise can do for you, we do have a 90-day license free and available to anyone uh, that customers can try. And, and then you can check out all the um, 
AI tools and frameworks that are included, which also includes NVIDIA NIM. So like that information I believe will be um, in the description and uh, you can, anyone can is feel free to like access, register and access uh, the software. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, like, like Jody said, we'll release all these uh, links, et cetera, that we just mentioned as part of the blog, right? Uh, so you'll have full access to these uh, at all times. So wonderful. With that, uh, we're coming to a close on this episode. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, Judy. No, thank you. It's always a pleasure to just chat and discuss like what we've been working together, something that you know both companies are really excited about. So, And we're really looking forward to the future and what this uh, solution can bring to you know enterprises everywhere. Absolutely. Rave, rave review so far. Uh, lots of good stuff to come. So with that, uh, a <clears throat> lot of tough, fun talking, talking with Judy today. We're coming to a close to this episode. If you like this episode, join for the next one. This is your host, Shobhit Bhutani, signing off. Have a fabulous day, evening, night, and weekend. Bye-bye till next time.